effect of using electrical energy. Uh, we've talked about power when we're talking about work and energy before, and uh, electrical power, it's really the same thing. But there are two, um, a few smoother formulas that apply to electricity. Um, here they are. Power is equal to current times volts, or I squared R or V squared over R, right? And these are all these terms that we've already used, current and amps, resistance and ohms and volts, and volt, volts and volts, okay? Um, just if you're wondering, um, you know, we think of it uh, in the last unit, in the energy unit, we talked about power being um, work or energy divided by time, right? And joules per second. And that's still the same thing. It's still joules per second. Uh, but an amp, if you think of an amp, <coughs> an amp is a coulomb per second, right? It's the amount of charge per second, or effectively the number of electrons per second. And a volt is a joule per coulomb. And so if I look at this uh, formula, P equals IV, and replace the symbols and, and, and put in, instead of that the units, a watt is equal to an amp times a volt. Well, how does that make sense? Because a watt is a joule per second, because a coulomb per second times a joule per coulomb. And, you know, doing that, I can cancel out the C's, and it works out. Joules per second equals joule per second. So that's not a derivation of the formula, but it shows you how it can be true or why it is true, okay? And you don't need to regurgitate that for me at any point. Um, but once you, if you take that for granted, well then we could say uh, the second formula is I squared R. That's just taking Ohm's law and subbing it in because if I said, okay, I, have, I don't know V, but I do know that V equals IR, right? So if I said P equals I, I, the original I, and instead of writing V there, I wrote IR again, there's my P equals I squared R. Okay, so that's where that formula came from. And similarly, exact same idea. Uh, a power formula with no amps, well, replace I with V over R, and it's the same thing. You substitute I is V over R, so V squared over R. What I want you to do, that's not what I just showed you. Those aren't skills you need. That's just information. This is a skill you need, right? You need to be able to use that formula. So, um, so you had a hydro line. It used a current of 2 amps and a resistance of 1. I did this on purpose, kilo ohm. A kilo ohm, just going down here, is equal to 1,000 ohms, just like a kilometer is 1,000 meters. Okay? So we want power. I know amps. I know resistance. So this is the formula I choose. It's like there's three formulas to choose from. You find the one, you know, based on the givens you have. That's how you choose what formula to use, right? I'm going to substitute in solve 4,000 watts. Um, so that's, that's just an example using one of the formulas. Using the other formulas is the exact same. <laughs> and so if you choose those questions, you'll get to practice that skill. Uh, cost of electricity. Um, this is probably old information, but you know we, we pay for electricity in a in a price per kilowatt hour, and what that means is a kilowatt hour is like you know say you had a device that used one kilowatt, which is one thousand watts, right? That was that was the power of that consumption of that device. Well you know, you take that and you multiply it by the number of hours you ran that device and that's what we mean by kilowatt hour and that's what you pay for. It makes sense. You pay the high, and that tells you that the amount you pay, well, the higher the kilowatts your device uses, or watts your device uses, and the longer you use it for, be the more you pay. And it's all just directly proportional. It's just a multiply. So we could just look at the website here and, um, you know, look at how much they charge. And you might remember that, uh, you may have learned this, or maybe you don't know this, that depending on the time of day, you pay more or less for electricity. So if you're, um, uh, you know, you're on off-peak times, uh, which would be on the weekend, that would be all day long. In the summer, off-peak is from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Actually, it looks like summer and, and winter. Okay, so when you use electricity on the green, the off-peak, you pay less money, and almost half, right? Because you use on-peak. On-peak is in the summertime between five uh, noon and 5 p.m., and you can probably guess the reason for that. You know, I, I still remember, I don't even know. Yeah, you guys are alive then, <laughs> but when, um, not, not very old though. 
And when I uh, worked at FOG, I remember we had the wicked power outage, and I remember we had to shut down the factory. Uh, power went out for about seven hours one day, right? It went out around noon, didn't come on until eight o'clock at night or something like that. But, you know, this is, you know, things like that that spurred on having electricity cost more at different times. So people are less likely to use their electricity. And this is like a hot day, right? Your air conditioner is flying. Um, in the winter time, that's actually not the case. Noon to five is not on peak, it's the opposite. And the reason, of course, is in the winter time, um, you know, you're going to use more electricity in the morning and the, in the evening time. That's just like your lights are on, um, you know, your heater's running. Noon to five, you're probably not even in your house, right? Um, and probably that's the time you're more likely to put up with cold, <laughs> cold air. Anyway, so that's that's the different prices and the cost per kilowatt hour changes. You know, for the qu equations and the samples that I do, we're using 0 0.075, which is a, an indicator of, you know, how, long, how old, how long ago I made up this little slide because even, even uh, I said average was 0 0.075, you can see it's significantly higher than that now, right? The lowest price is 0 0.077. And when the first, the first grade 11 physics class I taught, it was 0 0.55 when that was the constant price all the time. That gives you an idea how much more we pay for electricity uh, than we used to. Oh, I think they just changed them actually. Um, anyway, so I use it the wrong number, but if you were going to actually figure out a cost for running a device, you would have to go to uh, go to the website and you can get that number. Okay. So I chose this question because of a little, you know, a, uh, a little home 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 uh, argument, which is that uh, I like to. Uh, you know, if I want to use the clothes dryer, and it takes 45, 45 minutes to run a cycle, uh, Mr. Restall is much cheaper than me. He'll always hang things up, or he'll leave, leave it be until it's off peak or whatever. Right? You should don't consider stuff like that. But say I want to find out how much it's gonna, how um, the cost to run my clothes dryer for 45 minutes, and you can make a guess right now. What do you think it's gonna cost? Right? Um, again, if you're saying, well, first of all. Remember, using the total cost is the cost per kilowatt hour. This is the website price, or I use 0 0.075 because I'm old. Um, the number of hours you run it for, which for us will be 0 0.75, like 45 minutes, three quarters of an hour. And then we need to know the power rating of my appliance. And you can find that out. Again, Festival Hydro has all that information. It lists like all these different appliances, and you can look sort of average wattage. Monthly kilowatts, like for an average home, but this is for the average device. So say that goes through clothes dryer is 5,000 watts, okay? So or 5 kilowatts is the information we'll need. But you can look up any device, right, and figure out how much, how much generally. And you can actually look on your device specifically to find your particular device. Um, sometimes it lists currents and volt instead, of, and then you multiply to find the watts. But anyway, just using this website for the source of information. And I come to the solution, I say, okay, well, um, looking at the different prices, so this one I made this slide, a peak was 0.117. Again, let's be bitter and see how much it's changed. Now the peak is 0.14, 11714. So it's gone up quite a bit. It's almost the same as the mid peak price. And there I used an off peak of 065. So if you look at my total cost, then it's this price, right, that's from the website, that's the cost per kilowatt hour, times 0 0.75 is the number of hours, and 5 kilowatts, remember it's 5,000 watts, and then you divide it to get kilowatts. So it's 44 cents or 24 cents, so it saves 20 cents a cycle if you run it, if you run it um, on, on off-peak hours. Okay, so that's cost of electricity, that's the end of that lesson.